A former Navy soldier and a special operator of the United States Marine Corps have just revealed in an interview their knowledge of a secret space fleet operating from Antarctica that flew a landing mission to interstellar visitor Oumuamua. The two soldiers were interviewed by veteran ufologist Linda Moulton Howe who posted their astonishing testimonials on their live streaming of YouTube channel on February 20, 2019. Linda M. Howe had already released the first part of her interview in which Spartan 1, a former Navy Navy SEAL, described the entrance into an octagonal structure that covered about 62 acres near the Beardsmore Glacier in Antarctica. The Antarctic Treaty Spartan 1 had also shared his knowledge of the existence of a large coalition of nations that are signatories to the Antarctic Treaty, Antarctica operating a secret space program. This coalition is spoken of, Great Britain, United States, France, Germany, Canada, Russia. The military also said that there was an existing space fleet in the last 25 years. In response to House demand, Spartan 1 said, they pay all of these coalition countries. These are unimaginable sums, in the order of billions and billions of dollars. Spartan 1 continued to describe the different extraterrestrial races that collaborate with the Space Coalition and how Antarctica is the center of operations. Spartan 1 states, I have only been informed of at least seven different species of alien races with which the coalition has been in contact. How asks, how were they described? Spartan 1, everywhere from war to very peaceful. How, do you have the impression that Antarctica is the central focus of these seven species? Spartan 1, yes, I think it is. Subsequently, How introduced the second informant, Spartan 2, who is also a special operator but whose branch of service was instead of the U.S. Marine Corps. Spartan 2 first contacted Linda M. Howe March 22, 2017 by email and wrote, Antarctica contains wonders beyond what most can understand. Antarctic continent has connections with space and technology that go beyond imagination. Spartan 2 has revealed that over the past 10 years he has worked with an official U.S. Cyber Command, whose eighth floor office is responsible for conducting trade with alien races. The official, whose baptismal name is Kim, said Spartan 1 and 2 of a secret mission to Oumuamua, the interstellar object that aroused scientific speculation due to its unusual shape cigar and mysteriously accelerated as our solar system began to come out, that Linda M. Howe then discussed in one of his live streaming sessions. Spartan 2 dropped a bomb when he said, we had confirmation that our friends landed at Oumuamua many months before no one knew it was out there. Our boys were in Oumuamua or what they call a thing. Rock, it's an abandoned alien spacecraft. At least that's what they told us, and we embarked for months before anyone knew it. In response to House demand that he gave them his information, Spartan 1 revealed, I can only say that his name is Kim, she worked for the National Security Agency, NSA, for years. So just recently, last year, he was in charge of a certain department in Cyber Command. All I know is that it's on the 8th floor of the NTA building. The Spartan Revelations 1 and 2 in the secret space mission to Oumuamua were before their official discovery October 19, 2017, confirming an earlier report of this mission of space program member Corey Good. Good says December 17, 2017 was taken to a secret lunar base called LOC, Lunar Operations Command where he received an instruction on the Oumuamua mission involving an alliance of space programs with Nations Coalition.